Hello there, so this is part two of the soldering the ESP32 onto a breakout board. In the previous part, we went ahead and started soldering and made some mistakes along the way which were corrected and such, and we'll continue on from that point in this video. I should mention that the particular module I was soldering is having problems when I'm programming it, so it's possible that the soldering job I'm showing isn't really well done. So with that in mind, let's resume from where I'm trying to fix up some of the bad soldering jobs that I've done in the previous part. Probably not the cleanest soldering job in the world, but at least it seems like all the bridging is gone and it seems like each pin of the ESP32 is soldered down to the breakout board. So hopefully that should be working all right. Of course we can verify that by using the continuity mode on the multimeter and check that each pin is continuous with the pins on the breakout board itself. So next we'll go ahead and try to get some solder through the ground pin and hopefully we'll establish a connection between the ground pad of the breakout board and the ESP32 module itself. For that, quite simply, I'm just going to be adding lots of solder on here and just pressing down on it and hopefully that will make the solder travel to the module itself such that the breakout board and the ESP32 module will make a good electrical connection. So I'm hoping that was enough to get some solder through the little holes on the breakout board down to the ESP32 so that the breakout board and the module itself have a good connection. I really have no way to tell other than to do a continuity test on the ground pin and this area over here. Alright, so we'll be checking for continuity on ground. So first of all, there's two ground pins at the top of the breakout board over here, so I'm just going to check the continuity there first. Okay, here and... Yes, we have continuity. 
And uh, there's a ground pin over down here. Let's see if we have continuity from here to here. Good, here to here, good. All right, so we can see that the grounds within the module itself seem to be fine. Now let's take a look at the ground pad to the grounds. So from, let's see, maybe here to here. Good. So it tells us that we actually have an electrical connection from this ground pin to this ground pad. So let's go ahead and do that for the ground pin over here. From here to here. So that's a good thing because we know that the ground pad over here has an electrical connection with the ground pins up here through the module. So, so it appears that the soldering over here works fine. Now we could actually go through each pin and check continuity between the pin on the module and the pin on the breakout board and see that we have good continuity between each of these. And we can continue doing that for each pin and verify that things are going well. What we could also do is check that the adjacent pins don't have any connection just to be sure that we don't have any bridging between the pins because that could be a bad thing. And like that. So if we don't have continuity between adjacent pins, we know that there isn't any bridging between the pins on the module itself. All right, at this point, all we really need to do before we can use this on a breadboard is to get some header pins and solder them onto the breakout board over here. And that's pretty much it. But again, that's not really exciting because that's not something that's really special with respect to this ESP32 module we have over here. So that's pretty much what I have for today. If you like what you saw, I'd appreciate it if you can give it a like, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.